fucking Jeff. Turn that, that camera on you for a second, Jeff. Okay. Je we have <laughs> Jeffrey Gurian, man, who is, I would call him a haberdasher. I would call him a man of leisure. I would call him a, a fellow pimp, pimp limpian. Pimp <laughs> <Pimpinipian. laughs> But it's, he's a nice pimp. He's a he wears soft gloves. He's a kind pimp. He's a kind pimp. He wears mittens. Listen, he wears mittens. You, you, a bitch. you, you, you can with mittens. You can owe me this week, but next week just make sure you have you know. <laughs> just work still, a little harder. Do dear. I need interest, Daddy? No, no, no. Just what you owe. <laughs> Matter of fact, keep a little for yourself. Yeah. And I'm not gonna call you a bitch because that belittles you, ho. Right. So I'm just gonna I wanna bring up your self esteem. I'm, he's I want to hold with self esteem. He's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a pimp with with care. He's he he's not he's not. He's, full of shit. And the thing is. He's not full of shit, Bob. He's not full of shit. It's like, I understand your emotions about it because I get the same emotions about Jeff. Yeah. But I know it's not full of shit. I'm envious it's of righteous. Jeff. It's, it's a righteous thing, man. It really is. Jeff is amazing. <clears throat> Twinkles in the air, <laughs> butterflies. Heart, heart music. I want heart music in the background. The queen is the king's bitch. But I know you have a better way to say that, Jeff. No, well Which, hey, hey, but Bob, you know what? That's not a bad thing. But here's the thing that I say, always say, I say to Jeff, is it doesn't help mankind. Your lack, your, it doesn't help Bob. It doesn't help me. It doesn't help Boogie. It helps you. It doesn't help the average man who can't well, grasp where he's going. Shut up. <laughs> now look. <laughs> grasp what other people say. I'm just fucking with you, baby. Because you... you she needs some medicine. I it's, like her it's, on that. It's, 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 he is <clears throat> mystical. I mean, you're, I can understand what you're saying, but you can't. He's a level 12 pimp, and you. You, <laughs> you, you got to understand, Pamela. See, this is one of the things that frustrate me a little bit about women, also. You got to understand the anger of Bob. He was pretty what pissed. It, what it sounds like, you can't dismiss him. It's. An underground anger that Jeffrey has had that underlying anger, but he has worked through it. Worked through it with his concepts. I have underlying anger, and my anger is outward frustration. It still worked through it, and, and I work through it with, yeah. with with a philosophical standpoint that I stand on. It's not like I'm gonna choke a bitch, I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> it's more like shut the Let fuck me. up with your bullshit. He has underlying anger that he worked through for his own style. Drew Boogie, you don't understand that because you've never had to work what, through. Let me ask you something. Where do you think his anger comes from? Where, where do you think Bob's anger comes from? Resentment, the fact that women, he doesn't get women. Exactly. At okay. all. He well, has, probably has yeah. a small penis. That, see, why and would you know? It doesn't have to be that. It does not have but, to be about most the men, size. But do you, why most men are under, I understand. Why it do you have do to be, that? Like, it why? doesn't have to be about the yeah, size. Yeah, but that's size. Wait, 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 hold on. It doesn't, Ask it's all her, about how you when love and you connect with a woman. Why do you do that? I guarantee she doesn't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I guarantee she doesn't know what, no. What I mean. What doing that means. Means, okay. that's right. It's like men always judging you by you're the saying, size of your boobs. You're saying that it, it, you're right. It does come from anger. Ask her what that means. Ask what does what that mean? mean? What does that mean? That is, that this is what I know what the fuck he's talking about. I know what he's talking you about. You know what Absolutely. he's talking about. Absolutely. He knows what he's talking about, but she don't know what the fuck he means by that question, and, and she I doesn't would, even try to understand. I would think she would know. That's interesting. I to would me. not I, think. That's why this I, is, I, I, thought, I would think she did it on purpose. This is, I would think she did it on purpose. This is it's, what it's, I mean when I when my anger is. We both are going. Hmm. You, I don't believe any woman. Immediately, he didn't even have to say that. I know that she don't know what the fuck he's talking about. That's it. That's how I feel about it. What you did was you reduced men to penis size. <laughs> that's that's yeah, the standard that, that of a man. Is, that is penis size. To and that's like saying that was wrong. That's like question judging is, women by the size why, of their boobs. The, all right, it is wrong, and you admit it because that, that was, you know, and the reason why that. you're admitting it is because 
Jeff is so what, what I'm trying to say about it. And he's got wait, let me finish. He's got this he's got this beautiful aura and so he can put it in a way that doesn't offend you and you go, Well, that I, I shouldn't have done that. But what I'm saying <clears throat> to you is but you jump to that conclusion. I'm asking you not oh, so you understand what he's talking about, but I'm asking you why did you do that? Why did you go there? Why did I go there with him? Why does he hate women the way he does? No, I'm assuming. That, no, and I, 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 not getting it. Now you're, 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 now you're, now you're, you're shifting I'm the plan. I'm asking you a, sp- a specific. Let me ask you another call. Let's, let's go it's back natural. to natural. Because we got a long show. She didn't have to think that's about why, it. It just came. It's right, natural. It's it's natural. natural. But that's this the point. Is, right. This is why. This is why I love her on the show already. Uh-huh. This is She's perfect. <laughs> because this is... Well, it's an example of how women take away men's power. But men, men do the same fucking thing a lot of times. Listen this to is this. what I don't want. Jeff, I'm taking okay. another call because okay, you're frustrating me. I don't want. We no. have enough shit for their side of not understanding. It's not about their side. But listen what to this. Thing walk into a club with a beautiful you girl. Is what you I'm walk into a club with a beautiful girl and see how other guys treat you. That they don't try to step on your territory so and start asking asking questions. What guys do. That's what but that's do. fucked and up. That's it's because they're jealous. No, 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 the if a guy walks up to you, if you're with a beautiful girl and a guy walks up to you and he says to you, "Oh, she's really beautiful," yes. right in front of her, yes. you take that as a compliment. Motherfuck, right? Yeah. Then, no, man. You know what that's like? It's like he's saying it. He's saying it to you. Your girl. Here's He's how, not saying it to you. I don't need a motherfucker Jeff, to tell me my Jeff, girl looks Jeff, good. Jeff, I know she looks Jeff, good. Jeff, yeah. Really? Jeff, that offends Jeff, you. Jeff, Jeff, fucking Jeff, offends me. Good. This is no. what it ready? What? This is how I look at it. This is how fucked up I am. Yeah. Jeff, hey man, your glasses are wonderful. That's the same thing. Those blue lenses. Absolutely lenses-ish. not. Wait a minute. Because I don't how, own her. She's not a possession yes, of mine. She is. No, no. Mm-hmm. And, and, and she's and, a, not a possession. She's an object. Of desire that has nothing to do with you. I don't need some strange That's motherfucker arrogance. to come and tell me that my girl yes, looks you good. Do. No, I don't. Yeah, but Jeff, I know she looks good because she wouldn't be with me if she didn't look good. Yeah, but Jeff, I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't be there in the first place with her. I don't need a strange guy. Why do I need his compliment? If you don't think me. that the woman chooses the guy, no. say that again, beautiful. No. You don't think that the woman chooses no, the guy? We set up no, we, ja- Jacqueline, we, let me let me say what you do. You choose. But it's not a choose like we choose. You choose. It's almost an unsatisfying feeling, your choice. Because you have to choose as if you're scratching a lottery ticket. Meaning, you look at the, you survey the land and go, he's nice. And your skill, this is what I mean. Your skill is to stand there and go, I'll get his attention so that he comes over with his skills. Because you have no skill to get a man. Your skill is your beauty. You don't know how to get a dude. You don't know how to talk your way into nothing. You don't know how to talk your way into happiness. You never had to move and shake and talk and figure shit out and get rejected on a regular basis. You don't. That's not your existence. So, of course not. You don't choose a guy. A guy chooses you and you choose to go, I actually yes. did need to develop that because growing up, Guys didn't date me. I don't know if it was the fact they were intimidated by me yes. or whatever. Yes. But they did not You're date me. You're tall and beautiful. That's why they didn't date you. Because they couldn't come at you. That's why fat girls and ugly girls got boyfriends. Because guys come up to them with the proper, like, man shit. Confidence. They Confidence. come up to a fat bitch and go, hey, fat bitch. <laughs> but it's not, they don't say that. But that's the that's the aura they give out. That's the magic they get out. They go, I f- baby, come on, you ain't got no fight Options. against this shit. <laughs> hey, what's up, ugly bitch, a goofy looking bitch, or oh wow, you got a cut on your forehead. Let me let me stare at that for a minute and let you know that you ain't shit. Now I'm coming at you. But beautiful women, guys feel, and this is why beautiful women are heartbroken constantly, because guys come up to them with our worst aspect of getting women which is lying and we will lie Mm -hmm. to get some we will imply love to get some pussy we will be lovable to get some pussy hello beautiful oh my god hello pamela oh jesus (laughs) you are i know you hear this all the time you're one of the most beautiful women i've seen all day and i and please i've i've seen a lot of women today it's something so striking about you listen no, for can I buy you a drink? You don't, niggas don't come up to you and go, God damn, look at that titty meat hanging out. What, you, what, color, what color is your nipple, bitch? Let me 
me tell you why women don't play chess. You play chess? Yes. Are you good? Of course. Pretty decent. Good. No, because you took too long, Jackie. You're not that good. You play chess? <laughs> you don't play chess. I do I'm going to tell you why chess, women don't play chess. Because chess is a consequence to that game. It's a game where nice. you have to think 12 steps ahead. So you have to think, all right, if I say this, she's going to think that I'm doing this. But I'm really doing this. And I know she doesn't have five levels of thinking to my bullshit. She doesn't have to. Because I have 25 levels of bullshit. You don't have to have that. I think. I think you have to do that because you have to get laid. So you try to think of all these different levels and stages and think ahead of women because you, that's have, not to, true. you have to cover up your bullshit. I have, I, have a, I have a girlfriend. That's that's not necessarily true. Let's call true. her. That's not really true. You don't want to call oh, her. No. You don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, and Pamela, see, this is why it's good you're here because your confidence level, I would never want to knock it down, but I do want to introduce the term of consequence to your life. Options. You don't. You never. Re you rarely had to have a different way of thinking. You think that this is some old anger bullshit. This is some stuff that you can just uh, marginalize as just some fat angry dude. This is thought out shit, baby. This is. This is. I'm not on the radio because I'm just a raving lunatic. I'm telling you, <laughs> my girlfriend's gorgeous. She's a gorgeous bitch. Absolutely, but she, I've seen I know. Her. I know of my girlfriend. She's abusive, and it's not of her fault. She's abusive because that's her nature. Because women don't want to win. You want a winner. And that's what women test constantly. Is this nigga the winner that I think he is? So you come at us and try to make us losers. And what, what, what a, a loser is, is a guy that lets his woman make his happiness. Because we don't know how to love. Men don't. I believe this. When we love a chick, we're actually copying what she does. We copy you. We go, uh, well, we go, oh, I think women like to hold hands in the park. I think women <laughs> like to snuggle. I think really a well, man's that, love. That's, that's what. That's what the, 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 the righteousness of Jeff is because Jeff is really. No. Uh, he, he, this, he like this that, motherfucker, no, he, just, I, he just knows no, I, what I, they like. I but Jeff in his evil, wait a minute, man. Jeff in his evil, in his ultimate evil, doesn't attach. I'm talking about a motherfucker that blows bu bubbles on his girl's stomach. And I love you, booby. He does that. But in the back of Jeff's mind, he's like, <laughs> I'm going to throw bubbles on this bitch's stomach, and she's going to go, Ugh, and he's going to go. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, because I, I, you know You me, don't do the same but shit. But I'm not, but it's, I like women. I like. Nigga, I, I like, like them too. But you I like yours like, no, well done. No, on a spit. Yeah, you like yours. I put an apple in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> See, I love this. This is why this girl may be the greatest woman in the, in the studio, other than the beautiful Jacqueline, of course. <laughs> and that, look at it, she's getting tired. Yeah. But see, she's bringing out some frustrating frustrations in you, which is a beautiful thing. I love that. And even I've seen a hint of anger in Jeff. Well, a lot of things... She, <laughs> this girl, is fantastic. Because she is almost... What's the word? Critically? Not critically. When you have cancer. In opera cancer? Um, terminally. Terminal! <laughs> with her shit. <laughs> and then, here's where she went, which I like. She knows that I'm... She already knows I'm passionate, right? Mm -hmm. But she did rule number 10 on the cornball girl list, <laughs> which is she took something and made me into the screaming maniac that made her feel uncomfortable and she victimized herself and made me victimize her, which lets me know that she has about three or four levels, but not five. She thinks she has five, but she went to cornball. Why are you attacking me? I don't understand. And she came in with all this, but she still used that bullshit. This is why men are angry, Jeff. This is why your stilo is like, you need an apprentice to pass it on. <laughs> now, your stilo is getting pussy. Me, and again, don't... 
please, Jacqueline. My stilo is motherfuckers calling in going, I fucking hate women. And women don't even understand what that means that guys hate them. They think it's like, oh my God, they want to rape and kill us. No, it's the bullshit that we have to listen to. We got to listen to your dumb stories. We got to listen to you fucking be, uh, 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 have a personality when you don't really have one. Then men have to go and figure it out, bro. That's what they yes, do. Because you don't want to go through your whole life angry and shit. Because yeah. that's the only game in town. Who are you going to deal with if you're not dealing with but women? Because, so fucking figure it out. Just because you put it out there like, well, you spend like a time. wizard. No, because I spent I fucking time. There, if I put it out there like an ogre, you put it out there like a wizard. <laughs> I'm doing it like we, an elf. Yeah, we, <laughs> it's all the same, nigga. Um, listen, stay on the line. We're going to answer as many calls as we can. Uh, shit, we, didn't, we still didn't went out of order. Du- didn't we didn't introduce duck. everybody. Yeah. We're going to introduce everybody when we come back. Okay. But uh, we're going to take a break. So please, y'all hang in there. Oh, God. Is there, how long is the break? It's going to be about eight minutes. What do you got to do? I got to wow, pee. You go pee, sweetie. Got plenty of time. That's that. So here's, here's what I think we should do, because what happens, and I noticed this last couple of shows too, it turned into like helping dudes calling in with their women problems, to just like Patrice versus Jeff. I learned over the years, you don't go back, you don't go back to the joke, you just move on. Okay? When there is something happening in terms of organic, you ride with it. No, I you do I'm not it. leave. Because you know guys are calling in. Most of them have nothing to say anyway. But, but a, a bitch calling to say the chicks are annoying. Now, Michelle, right? Okay. She, and this is because of the, the, the synergy. She is making people mad enough to call in on that subject. Uh, 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 Jacqueline, there's some times where something's being said. And Jacqueline she just instinctively wants to just get in and say something. That's how I'm trying to keep get these people to listen. I'm not trying to keep them on hold. I want to answer their calls, but I want it to stay focused in terms of just in case people don't call in that we know how to keep that no, going. I can't believe me. Correction. That's what I do. I'm here to offer feedback and I'm here to try and steer. Your feedback. Now, if this was a democracy, which this world is, there's... Two motherfuckers that disagreed that been here as long as you. As, as this, we been, so he disagrees. Okay, that's fine, but they they also not in in radio as a business. Like, would you? Well, how would? All right, let's say let's say I was I was coming up with some stand up, and I came to you and I started to tell you what I thought I was trying to do with my stand. You're trying to tell me, well, you know what you should really do because I would trust you because why you've been in the business way longer. So if I told you what to do with your comedy based on what I do with mine, you should tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point that I'm I'm not saying that what's going on is bad. I'm just saying Yes you are. No I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad. Because what's the what's the opposition to that? It's just that it's it it goes on for a very long time and becomes monotonous to the listener. It doesn't. I know when it becomes monotonous. I know. That's what I'm good at. I know. And if the listeners don't know, that that we'll teach them. Just like I have to teach you what's monotonous. What you want to play? You have a sound you want? You want a sound? Push a sound. You want me to have play a sound? Play, just play. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you want the buttons? Like, we sitting around talking. It's passion. Half the people calling us, they're passionate. They, they, they know. If I'm sitting there talking about something, and somebody's like, look, if I'm sitting there discussing something with Jeff without this fucking radio show, okay? And I say, Jeff... This is how I feel about it. We're not going to look at our watch and say, oops, <laughs> this has been going on too long. We should take a break from this and then move on to the next subject. That's not how people live. I don't give a fuck about how radio does it. I'm talking about people. People. You understand what I'm saying? I do. So if a person is listening and they go, I'm tired, move on to the next subject, what, how, who's to tell that the next subject will be something they want to listen to? They'll tune out any fucking way. I'm not saying to move on to the next subject, but we could, we could instead of going on about it for as long as we could, we could use the, the topic that we're on to seg into different things. And, and, and a second of all, 
in case you didn't know, I'm trying to get this show to where it would be a weekly, sh how to do it in a weekly format. I'm going to tell you why I start switching it up a little bit by the way I'm doing it. Because you have to find a way to, to say something that pertains to how you feel at the time. I can't, like some weeks, I don't feel like a pimp. So I have to make sure that people understand that they're getting into grown men with who 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 have they have we have a a, a diversity with how we feel. You understand what I'm saying? It's 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 an organic situation, dude. And organically, we were talking. We didn't put because there was times where I was getting ready to click a caller, and then Pamela would say something that made a motherfucker say for fuck the caller for a second. Because we're getting into something that... See, you've seen it as entertainment, which I understand. But but you got to understand what I'm doing is... There's motherfuckers. Like, when I said I went to Seattle and Seattle's pussy whip, I didn't say that shit, like, as entertainment value. Pittsburgh, pussy whipped. Ann Arbor, Michigan, pussy whipped. Kalamazoo, Michigan, pussy whipped. Connecticut, pussy whipped. This is, this is for real. There's motherfuckers out there saying to other guys, Yo, this is inappropriate. This is terrible. This is misogyny. Motherfuckers need help. And, and after a while you start to resent the fact that women have this tremendous power over you. And beautiful women have the most power of all. Everyone wants that, but not everyone can get it. Can I... Can I... Please, I, yeah. You have to may, ra raise may, your hand. May I, raise your hand because first. Because of my, my anger. <laughs> Let me tell you why women end up with assholes. Because innately, that's what they want. An asshole represents a person, a man, who's better What's that noise? than them. They're her kids, her mistakes. Uh, it, Sounds like her pussy. It ends up, it end, they end up because innately, you do not want to run the show. So when you get a man that you think is worthy of being the man, you try to make him this bitch. I'm, I'm, you just listen to the show. I'm gonna turn this because you got you finished breast breastfeeding or whatever. <laughs> it, the thing is, I don't I don't agree with that. That's low self esteem for a woman to be with a guy who's an asshole. It's settling. That's that's it, their innate nature to want to be with a guy that they feel is better than them. I Alpha. would never ever date a guy that's like that. That's why you don't have ever. love in your life. A lot of that they and this is what women don't understand why they don't have happiness, because they don't know how to initiate it. Meaning this, women cannot elevate a man to his highest level. So what's the highest title a woman can have? A wife? In, in this world. The highest title? Other than God is sort of... Queen. Queen. You, okay. Would you agree? Yeah, okay. What's the highest level that a man can have? King. king. Are, are king and queen equal? No. 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 You can be a queen because I'm a king. I can't be a king because you're a queen. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Women are innately abusive. Pamela is abusive. She's putting it on me like I'm Mr. Bull. At least I'm honest about my bullshit. She's not yet. But she's angry. Because she don't know why she's not happy. You think you're special, but you're typical. And this is why I like you. You said something today that was a bordering on genius to me. When the woman said she wanted Thanks, to win buddy. a lottery ticket. Mm -hmm. And you told her to go out and meet, meet a lottery ticket. That, but, that, but, that but, men, but you, men you were her lottery that, ticket. That's a, that's a mindset. That's what women do. This is what I was saying to Jacqueline in the thing. Women can't go out and go, I am going to find love, which is what they want. They have to have love come into their life. Like a lottery ticket. They scratch and they go, I hope I meet the well, you know, guy that's going to make me happy. Men actively go out and find our happiness. And what that is, is if me, Drew, Dante went out, we would, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to speak for you, no. but if me, Drew, we, we would not get together and go, hey, yo, we going out to find that special someone. <laughs> hey, let's get out there and find love, baby. Let's no. do that. 
But when you saw someone, we would be doing the approaching. Women, in general, do not do the approaching. There are which some times that happens. That, which but is that's why just, they're in the predicament they're in, because I have to dance to get Pamela... But she doesn't have to dance to get what she wants. She what? doesn't know how to get and, what she and wants. Th and that's what makes us. Dancing. And that's what, what makes. Talking about? And that's what makes men resentful. But that's money. Yeah, but this I mean, is why Pamela is sick because you. of you, Jerry. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. This is why. This is why she's not happy because motherfuckers like Jerry who won't give her a little bit of medicine, a little bit of honesty. Stop with the, with the, here, t try this, beautiful, and the, and the, just well, tell her, all, I'm just not that meet type of her bitch anger. Anyways. Yes, you are that type Dude, of bitch. Dude, I don't like it when people are like, ooh, uh, no, uh-uh. I'm like hardcore, like, southern girl, you're let's not, go fucking you're do You're not hardcore. Any bitch that's hardcore is a sad bitch. <laughs> I'm hardcore. You'll never be as cool as me. I'm cooler than you. If, By birth. If, if this is what Let me tell you what a man wants. Men want 10 of you. You want one guy. Not true. No woman wants more than one guy. That's a lie. I want girls and guys. I want it all. Sex is a beautiful thing. Why can't I have everything? But it's got to be with the right people. Well, you want love, and you don't have it. I'm a free spirit. What the fuck does that mean? I'm a free spirit. That means I love to love. That's it. Shut the fuck up, Pamela. <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. Take the next call. Hey, Jim, help her out with your <laughs> magic, motherfucker. No, but I'm, this goofy I'm curious shit. to know. Time to fuck out. Time to fuck out. This is time out. Time out. Time out. This is, this is what, Jeff, when you start off, this yeah. is what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start copying Jeff. Okay. Jeff, you went, I'm, I'm just curious. And you can hear you the gonna, magical bumblebees. But, you're gonna do <laughs> but, but really, really, you start off with that, but I started with, what the fuck you talking about? It's all about the way you approach someone. Exactly. And I, and that's what, this is the problem. He's discovered them. He's, he's discovered. He's mastered it. He's mastered Kool-Aid inside of the castor oil. No, no. He creates bitch, the man. take Austin, the castor oil. I'll snick in the Kool-Aid. Take it. <laughs> take it, bitch. Jeff, Jeff is Jim Jones of Kool-Aid. Oh, I'm curious. There's a curiosity blanket that's flowing over. But if you... Thing. I don't want to listen to the ho bitch's hopes and dreams till later. No. I don't want to be force myself to have to listen to Somebody you might bullshit not like. you before might not even like I know it. what I want. They know what I want, so why do I have to dance around and, then, and, and ultimately See? lie? Ultimately lie to get some pussy and then move on with, with the speculation that I actually care. By the way, Jacqueline is model pretty. Um, she's even... model pretty, like she's runway beautiful. And uh, Pamela is um, Cinemax porn beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Two Go different... Ahead. That yeah. is, that's what the problem is, and that's what I, I would like to show to be, is what your technique is, is based on being different from another motherfucker. Exactly. Because what, what Dante's technique is based on being different. I'm based on being different, meaning, but at the same time is righteous. Now, my technique in terms of, like, say how Pamela's reacted to me, see, like I said, I'm, I, I hunt bears. <laughs> I hunt bitches who are... Like, rah, coming oh, I at you. I thought you said hump bears. I didn't say you said hunt. I thought he said hump. Hunt. Okay. I, hunt, I hunt women yeah. who are aggressive mm -hmm. and think that they're more aggressive than a man. That's who I hunt. Mm -hmm. I'm an aggressive dude. And not not meaning I uh, punch bitches in the face or something. I'm just arguing. The back of the with, head. The back, back of the head. Back in my head. I'm I'm fucking I'm fucking <laughs> with a big cerebral with my aggression. Mm -hmm. Your Bunny aggressive, hunter. Bunny hunter. yes, but you still are <laughs> aggressive with how you hunt bunnies. I could never get Jacqueline by going, Jacqueline, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Absolutely <That's>, not. <laughs> you know, I could get this motherfucker, Pam, by saying, why don't you shut the fuck up? I know I could. Because no one evokes emotion in Pam because she thinks that she got it all figured out. But all you got to do, really, is tell Pam to shut the fuck up. And I don't mean it as a technique. Mm -hmm. I mean it as a bitch. You talk too much. And you don't even know what you're talking about. Shut the fuck up. She needs that. But what guys do have to do is they have to figure out something unique to say. And not that same bullshit that they've it's been doing since It's not a unique thing they're... to say. It's a new, unique 
it's it's philosophy. It's it's, it's, a, it's being have right. a fucking personality, man. Have no, a man. develop a personality it ain't even to say that. something. Women are bored. Bad. They're fucking bored. So fuck them. Why should what they what have they done to make my life better besides pussy? I don't know. What Depends the fuck the do women we always have to diss them? Do you understand what I'm saying? I absolutely understand. Why the understand. fuck are we always trying to figure out what they fucking need? They they don't sit around trying to figure out what the fuck we need because they marginalize the motherfuckers by calling niggas little dicks and calling motherfuckers oh they're stupid. I bet he's probably gay. When the fuck do guys blow off a girl who doesn't talk to him and go she's probably a lesbian? You you couldn't even do no, that. No. If yeah. if say if Pam Pamela said okay I'm gonna fuck I'm gonna fuck Drew I'm gonna fuck somebody in here, and she just pulled a dress up and showed her pussy. And a guy went, no, thank you. Immediately, she go, this nigga's a faggot. No, you know what? Girls, if I show, girls if are I destroyed show, by that. You I know show, that women would be destroyed by that. If I show women could never balls, handle the rejection that right. men take. If I show my never. balls. Yeah, that would be a big problem. Could I get mm -hmm. pussy by showing my balls? Nah, absolutely. That's women. why they don't make low-cut pants for men. <laughs> Because, you know, like a V-cut pants with just the tip sticking out? You'll never see that. Because <laughs> it don't work for us. We don't have that low-cut low tops and shit. Because they're not attracted to the same thing. Are men attracted to more than one woman, even if they're with a, a woman? Yes. All right, that's, that's, yeah. that's simple than that. Do you think that's nature? Yes. Do you, would Absolutely. you say that men want to fuck, like women want to fuck one guy no, I don't think so. I think, I think you think women have the same desire, same desires to to want to have and women many it's different. How many women? How many women do you think? Let me not ask you. Let me ask you. Yeah. How many women do you think you can fuck if if allowed to be? How many women do you think you would fuck in a week if you could? Maybe different, nine. Would you maybe nine different girls in a week? Yeah. Okay. So Jeff, you think? That the fact is, here's the difference between his nine and if a woman is wanting to match that amount. The difference is, he has a, there is a, some sort of... Uh, desire. No, not desire. There's some sort of satisfaction you get by actually bagging those nine. He didn't get those nine by pulling his dick out and saying, here's my dick, here's my balls, fuck me. He had to go out there... And, and work and for him. And get, and get yeah. that girl. He had to work hard. Get those yeah. nine. Right, exactly. Things is popping. A You're woman, right. this is, this <laughs> is nature. Danger. A woman can walk in any place and this get what she wants. Yeah. A woman can have a hundred guys fuck her in a month. Absolutely. If she wanted to. If she wanted to. But she doesn't want to. Most of them don't think no that way. No women oh. want a hundred. No, most women don't want nine Different dicks inside of in a week. Mm -hmm. It's a lie if any bitch says she's happy about having a variety of dicks but that's, that's in their true. vagina and in their mouth. They're <laughs> lying. <laughs> that's I desire to have different pussy on my face, different pussy on my dick, different bitches talking shit and getting different bitches. Hold on, Jeff. Yeah. Now, are you saying that? Dudes can be with a woman that they love, but also fuck other women and still love the woman they love. Absolutely. And yeah. be happy. Yeah. Have I no, don't know about no being problem. happy. Jeff, I think it wears you down. Would you be Definitely. happy? Put it this way. All right, ready? Let's make this scenario. No lying. It's like yeah. your girl, she goes, hey, I love you, baby. And she's like, I love you too. And the fact that I love you, sweet puss, you can go out and fuck any bitch you want. Just wear a condom. Could you do that as a man and stay happy? So you don't have to go out and it's not even cheating on your girl. It's basically she understands that you want a, some different pussy and lets you go do that. Could you be happy if that was placed in your life where you go, I love you, Jeff, but go get different pussy if you want. And I'm still loving you and you still can fuck me. Would that be fine with you? I don't think I want that anymore. There was Jeff, a time yes when I no, would. Nigga. <laughs> I don't think I'd be happy, to be honest with you. I need my underlings <laughs> to subscribe to my idea. And you go fight for daddy. I need that fight, <laughs> but I need it for daddy. Not against daddy. 
for that. Like I tell my my girl, fight against them, don't fight against me. I'm your motherfucking man. I'm your boy. So we just have to get young Pam to fucking just fight for me. I would be on your team, and then I would keep quiet and let you be over boisterous towards whoever else you want to sabotage, and then I would slowly slip in and take over your whole entire team and control your world or what you thought was your world. Yeah, my bitch said that too. So um, <laughs> we move on to... <laughs> <laughs> My bitch tried that too. She, she, she's still doing it. Well, I don't know. Good. I'd like you to give it a shot. No, I have a problem. I was out in Connecticut. Women's power is in your fear of whatever they're going to do. Fat tongued mongoloid. I told my girl she's the fourth most important thing in my life. So sensitive. It was me, my career, my Family. mother, and then her. She only thinks she knows shit because I tell her shit. <laughs> I think my girl in my life is worth five bitches now. Okay, now I. Here it is. Jeff, 